I once had a sermon, and that sermon inspired me a lot. It was a Friday sermon, and the imam alluded and said that there are times that you are suffering, that there are times that you are struggling. You're going through a lot in life. Maybe you're looking for a job, and the job is not forthcoming. That sometimes you're looking for opportunities, maybe to travel abroad. And all the time, when you go, rejection. You go, U.S. Embassy, rejected. Uh, Netherlands Embassy, they reject you. Canada, they reject you. And maybe you are trying to even get married. And all the time, something will happen. He says, sometimes it's God's way of protecting you from your enemies. That he will protect you from your enemies by not giving you what you want. And he goes to deal with your enemies first before he gives you what you want. Because that your, sometimes your enemies are powerful in such a way that once you get what you want, they will destroy you. They will make sure that they make you useless. We've seen people, just because they've gotten a degree from university, people will destroy them and they go mad. We've seen people, they've traveled. I have evidence of someone who traveled by air Right? He was going to U.S. In the plane, he lost his shoe in the plane. He just woke up, he slept, woke up, one, one, one pair of shoe. He didn't see it. And he was having the other one. He asked, he looked around, he never saw it. The, the minute he landed in U.S., they deported him back to Ghana. So you see, I don't know, this is not superstition or this may be superstition, but something is wrong. So you see, and he says that, and the imam goes further to say that sometimes you're just there, you are working hard for five good years from school. You've not gotten that job. But some, a job will just come. You've not even applied for it. He says, God has dealt with your enemies. Those who are waiting to destroy you. Those who are waiting to destroy you just because you have that degree. Just because you've announced that you are going to U.S. Just because, and we've seen that uh, science and math guy. He got opportunity, scholarships to travel abroad to further his education. And we learned that, I don't know whether it was poison or not. He just went away like that. So it comes to affirm the fact that, yes, sometimes just be patient. You keep working on yourself. And don't doubt yourself. It's going to happen. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But once God deals with your enemies... He will give you what you want. And sometimes, how will he deal with your enemies? You see, some, some of them, they get sick. Some of them will even die. Some of them will perish. Some of them will even come and apologize to you for the evil things they've done. And that is God's work. So be patient. My brother and my sisters, be patient. It's going to happen. But don't forget, keep working, keep pushing. And I know something will happen. May God bless us all. May God protect us. And may God give us what we want. Let's, let our struggles not be in vain. 